It's such a pleasure this morning to have a very special person with us. Will you welcome with a round of applause, President Theodore Roosevelt. Hello, my name is Theodore Roosevelt. I was the 26th President of the United States. I was born on October 27, 1858 in New York City. When I was young, I had asthma. My doctors would have me smoke a cigar or drink coffee whenever I had a hard time breathing. In my 20s, I read about many great people and tried to become like them. I'm happiest with many books around me. I have written 35 books in all. Many of them are about war. I was an excellent marksman and and horsemen. I joined the army and started Roosevelt Rough Riders. When I led the riders, I always wore a polka dot scarf. Because of my work with the Rough Riders, I received a Congressional Medal of Honor. This helped me become Vice President. When President McKinley was shot dead, I became the youngest president. I was 42. My motto was speak softly and carry a big stick. One thing I did as president, I was designated 150 million acres to forest land. I also secured land for the Panama <coughs> Canal, which was still used in today. The canal is now adding another passageway for bigger ships. I was the first president to settle a strike. It was between the coal miners and the owners. In 1902, the coal miners worked 12 hours a day, six days a week, and they made $560 a year. We all heated our homes with coal. When they went out on a strike, I was afraid we would run out of coal. So I called the owners together with the miners and came up with a solution. The miners would only work nine hours a day and got up to 10% pay increase. This brought their yearly income up to $616. Wow. One funny story I have as president. I went hunting with a group of people, but there was nothing to be found. The people in my group found a little bear cub and tied it to a tree for me to shoot, but I can't shoot a defenseless bear. So, so we let it go. A cartoon artist created a cartoon of this and put it in the newspaper. <sighs> then a toy manager, with the help of his wife, created a stuffed bear. They asked me if they could use my name for what they have created. I said, I don't think... My name will mean too much for the bear business, but you're welcome to it. And then the name was Teddy Bear. Give one to Teddy. Hi, I'm Teddy. Teddy, this is the 100th anniversary of the Teddy Bear. Would you like to know how we got the name Teddy Bear? Well, I'll tell you. The year was 1902, and America's beloved president, Theodore Roosevelt, was on a hunting trip. President Roosevelt was renowned for his hunting skills, but on this particular day, there was no luck to be had. The president's hunting party, fearing his disappointment, captured a little bear cub and tied it to a tree. The president was then called upon to shoot the bear, but with the heart of a true hunter, President Roosevelt refused and ordered the bear set free. Clifford Berryman, a cartoonist for the Washington Post, captured the moment with a wonderful illustration titled Drawing the Line in Mississippi. Seeing the cartoon, a New York store owner, Morris Mitchum, and his wife decided to make bears to sell in their shop. Morris wrote a letter to President Roosevelt asking permission to name his new bear Teddy. The president gave his consent. 
and we were all called teddy bears from that day on. President Roosevelt, uh, it's quite an honor to have you here this morning, and you did such a good job of presenting your life story, but we would like to show that we were listening by asking questions and giving compliments to you on your presentation. So I'm looking for at least two people from each table group, so let's get going. Mr. Roosevelt, you can call on people. Um, I like how you used um, the teddy bear for... How for like one of your props and how it said how the teddy bear got its name. Thank you. 